is the lecture on the topic Geographic Information System GIS It is Geographic Information System Lecture 1 Question That is the meaning of or relating to space existing or happening in space So let's see the history of GIS Basic unscaled maps have been used to depict small regions or area from very ancient times. Slowly, art of cartography evolved. People started using maps for making, for marking administrative boundaries and topography. Thematic maps were generated to portray spatial information of all surface features like soils land use, geology, census, rainfall, natural resources, distribution, vegetation, etc. Much more geographic information is conveyed when multiple layers of data are superimposed over a base map. For example, Dr. John Snow mapped collinear dates and pump locations over the map of London to find the cause of disease outbreak. This is a map which Dr. John Snow has showed to the people by demarking the pump location and the number of cholera deaths in London to find out the cause of the disease outbreak. So in this way, people started using the map to demarcate the different locations, different events on a map. Before GIS, all these maps were recorded on paper or film media for their use and storage. So, what are the limitations of paper based maps? The first limitation is frequent updating is difficult. If you are preparing a map on a paper or film, is uh, if you have to edit something then you cannot you have to re redraw that map it is frequent updating is difficult analysis especially while integrating multiple data sources changes and updation in one map is not reflected in all other copies of the same map paper media is subjected to wear and tear Damages. So we can say these are the four limitations or problems which you will find on a paper based maps. Slowly, people realized these limitations of film or paper based maps, and a strong need of GIS was felt. Computer-based GIS, Geographic Information System, started in the year 1960s. Stages of Evolution The first phase, 1960-1973, individual personalities played the role in determining what could be achieved. The second phase, 1973-1980, involvement by national agencies in various parts of the world to put GIS into practice. It is GIS in India. The third phase, commercial dominance. Current phase, user dominance, bringing standardization access across network, inter interoperability with GIS information, etc. Now, people are using maps in their mobile phone. That is the current phase. Now, that is the dominance of the people. Geographic Information System A geographical information system is a tool which can accept large volumes of special data derived from a variety of sources, retrieve, manipulate, analyze and display them according to user-defined specifications. A type of decision support system so What are the components of a GIS? The first thing is hardware then software special data, procedure, and people.
close features from separate but closely related fields color cartography card cam ground survey spatial analysis and interpolation remote sensing database management system and many more can be added so what are the application of gis resource management land use planning agriculture forestry water resources management rural or urban planning environmental management risk management business or marketing real estate facility mapping transportation management telecommunications mining government agencies defense emergency operations crime management epidemiology archaeology and etc data source in gis maps cadastral maps topographical maps and thematic maps aerial photographs and satellite imageries ground surveys gps government agencies like geological survey of india and etc so so what is the maps a map is a two dimensional small scale representation of our surface or its part as seen from the above so we can we have said that they are the these are the data sources in gis first one is the map aerial photography in satellite images ground survey gps and various data obtained from the government agencies so the first one is map so what is that map a map is a two dimensional scale representation of our surface as seen from the above it shows the special relationship between specific features or phenomena as shown by dr john snow the the pump location and the jets from cholera that he has represented that the events in a two dimensional small scaled map map is the assemblies of four categories of information that is point line area and level basic elements of a map if you see any map you will find the other basic element in any type of map the first one is title then legend then index then scale direction grid system the one is the title then two you can see it's the legend then three index four the scale of the map five direction which one is north which one is south then east and west and the fourth one is the grid system now let's map a scale scale is written as a fraction called representative fraction it's called rf it means distance on a map divided by distance on ground in this way you have to map a scale suppose you are mapping a 100 meters distance in the ground let us suppose you are mapping a football ground and the length of that football ground is 100 meter and on this map and on the map you have to scale down that thing so suppose you are taking that 100 meter as 10 cm 10 cm on a map then that will be the distance on the map that is 10 divided by the distance on the ground that is 100 the topographical maps of india then let's come to thematic maps these maps represent the spatial distribution of a particular phenomena of our interest mapping methods used for creating a thematic map 
isoplet, coroplet, other graphical representations. Isoplet has the isoline connecting points of equal magnitude, for example, counter map, isotherm, isobar, etc. This is the coroplet has tonal setting that is the color variation to represent statistical data aggregate over predefined region. Now you have seen various types of data in your daily newspaper, such kind of map that is uh, here in this map population per square mile by state and this is the scale which is given here that is uh, as per the color the values are different accordingly this map has been designed. Now you can see in Delhi newspaper the temperature variation across various states of India. You can represent that thing by this coroplate or color variation map. This is the end of lecture one. We'll see the lecture two in the next video.